There is a new way that hackers are stealing your personal information. This attack called tab nabbing is so sophisticated, you may be a victim and have no idea. On your side, consumer reporter Jen Strathman is live on 5 to show you how to protect yourself. Well, security experts believe your personal information is worth up to $7 on the black market. Schemes that fish for your information change so often, you'll be caught off guard and unknowingly give away your credentials. It only takes seconds for security consultant Tom Eston to clone a website. Looks just like Twitter. It's, it's identical to Twitter. Fake Actually, sites like this one are stealing identities in a scheme called tab nabbing. It starts when you open several tabs or websites in the same browser. Hackers steal one of your tabs while you're not looking. It's going to change into something that that person may be familiar with, like a Gmail login, Facebook login, or a Twitter account. The hackers use popular websites to fool you into thinking they were already open. If you sign in, consumers are redirected to the legitimate Facebook or Twitter page. It makes you think your first login attempt failed, but really, you've been tabnapped. On my screen, now I see... Here's, here's the account, test account, and then here's, my, here's the password I just collected. Hackers then use your credentials to access other accounts or they sell the information. Well, they make money. Uh, it's a business, it's a cr criminal industry. At Case Western Reserve University, a user recently fell for a phishing scheme and it impacted the whole campus. Probably about four, four minutes after they'd given it up, the attackers were sending spam through our system. The hackers used the spam to fish for more information. Case added new security features after the attack, but it feels education is the best defense because these schemes constantly change. A person armed with information who knows how to act is way better protected than any IT system you can develop. To protect yourself, check the URL before you enter any personal information. Most of these sites, it'll look strange. The cloning software Tom used made his Twitter URL a series of numbers. It's obviously not Twitter.com. Secondly, don't use the same password for every website. These are two easy steps that will prevent someone else from nabbing your information. You can even download third-party password programs that remember all your login information and give you passwords that are difficult to hack. It's a free service. Go to Newsnet5.com for more on these programs and tips to protect yourself.